Hi, today I'm going to show you the new features and improvements of Calipeg 1.5. Let's start with the studio and the new shot options here. You can now choose from five different presets here, for example, square, 1280 by 1280 pixels, and I can also choose the number of shots to create, for example, here, five. If I click on create, I have five new shots. And if I switch on the create a scene option here, I can create a new scene, which includes five shots. One of the main new features of Calipeg 1.5 is that now you can copy and paste layers from shot to shot. For example, here, I select two layers, go to the radial menu and copy. I go back to the studio, to a new shot, and I just click at the top of the layer stack on the paste button. And now I have my two layers in my shot, one with a line and one with the colors. In this new update of Calipeg, you can now use different shapes in the brush list. Here, I just draw with a free hand. And if I click again on the icon, it is now filled. So I can use that kind of shapes, which could be a nice way to work on silhouettes and character designs. I can also draw lines like this. But if I draw a line and I put one finger on the canvas, there is a magnetism here every 15 degrees. So I can draw straight lines, vertical, horizontal. And if I draw a line and I put two fingers on the canvas, I draw the line from its center. And with three fingers, I draw with magnetism from the center. I can also use the rectangle tool to draw rectangles like this. With one finger on the canvas, I draw squares. With two fingers, I draw rectangles from the center. And three fingers, I draw squares from the center. I click again on the rectangle and it becomes filled. So I can draw filled rectangles with colors. And remember, if you use empty shapes, it will draw with your current brush. For example, here, charcoal, you will get the charcoal texture. But with the filled shape, you will only get plain colors. And it's the same with the ellipses. One finger to get circles, two fingers to get ellipses from the center, and the three fingers to get circles from the center. And of course, if you click again on the icon, you have the field ellipses. You can also use the shapes with the eraser tool. There is the same menu here, and I can, for example, erase with field circles. We also improved the smoothing that you can get here in the brush setting. Let's draw with the smoothing at 10. As you can see, my line is smoothed in real time. And if I increase the value, for example, from 10 to 40, I can draw more precise lines by going slowly like this. You can now divide your sheets with the new radial menu option. For example, here I have this drawing, four images, followed by this one, three images. And I would like to make an in-between. I just have to double tap on the first one, go to the radial menu and the scissors. I can click on two and it will divide my sheet in two pieces. And now I have my first drawing exposed for two images, a blank sheet of two images and my second drawing here. So I can go to my in-between sheet, activate the onion skin, and now I can draw my in-between. We also improved the floating menu that you can get with two fingers on the canvas. It became a circle, always with the clear, the flip, the copy and the paste of a selection, the cross to close it, and now I can grab it with a long touch and move it anywhere. If I go to my selection tool here, and transformation, I can now rotate with this handle. And if I click on size and angle, I can now slide right and left to increase or decrease my value. Also, by default, you can rotate your canvas as you want, but if you need, you can go to the settings, canvas, and disable rotation of the canvas. That way, it's always zero here, and you can still zoom in and out. And last, if I go to the settings, in the export tab, I have an estimated size of my file, as well as the storage left on my iPad. And if I go to the studio, I can see here, just under the name 
and the definition, the size of my shot. Here it is more than 6 GB because it's a big file with 20 layers over 10 seconds of animation. That's it for this presentation, I hope you liked it. Remember that you can get Calipeg on any iPad using iOS 13 and that you can try it for free for 7 days. Have fun animating!